Those were some great memories for Mavs fans, sweeping the Lakers in the postseason. You know, when I lived in Los Angeles, I caught the Mavs playing the Lakers in town uh, one time, and Kobe Bryant with a game winner. Uh, epic performance by him, but I'm hoping for a different outcome tonight as we are celebrating the Mavericks this morning here on Daybreak. You know, we like a good party on Daybreak. Usually we have it on Fridays, but this Wednesday, we're getting ready for the party in Los Angeles tonight. Mavs tip off against the Lakers at 730. You can watch right here on WFAA. And we've got the Mavs hype crew in studio with us, getting us pumped for tonight's game. Let's hear it, Mavs fans. <laughs> Now, I want to bring in J.J. again because I've seen your work in person outside of the AAC. I've seen you hype up folks all over North Texas, and you have a knack for doing this, it feels like. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got, our group's got so much energy. We can do it anywhere. We don't require 20,000 fans, but we can do it just about anywhere. Can you see through those sunglasses? Yeah, and there's no peripheral vision, but I can see straight ahead. Hey, Mom. Well, let's talk about a, a job like this. A lot of people would think you won the lottery getting a chance to be able to hype up Mavs fans, celebrate the team when they win, get people ready to get over the hump when they lose. It, it really feels like a dream come true. No, it is. A, it's a dream job. I mean, we have the best fans in the DFW area that come out, being able to work with them with the team, come out to uh, events like this. Yeah, it's like a dream job. Now, let me ask you your favorite all-time moment as a Mavs fan. Well, uh, Dirk hitting 30,000 points, Vince Carter – uh, taking us to Game 7 against San Antonio, uh, raising the banner, putting the statue. There's too many. Like, there's too many. It's been great being a Dallas Mavericks fan. Well, you know, a lot of people think that uh, Texas is a football state, North Texas especially, but we love our hometown teams. We love the Mavericks. We love getting hyped up. We love when they win, like tonight. Any big predictions before this game against the Lakers? Yeah. Mavs by 20. That's oh, what I'm saying. There it is. Mavs by 20. Our poll this morning has been which player is going to have the biggest impact in the game tonight, and our viewers so far have said they think Luka is going to be fine. You know, he's missed a couple of games with the injury, but I uh, believe he will be on the court. My fingers are crossed that we'll see him do the job tonight. Before that, though, we've got to get you ready. We've got to get you pumped. 7.30 is tip-off. Our coverage begins at 6.30 tonight, but we're here this morning with you guys showing off your moves. and. and I heard that you wanted to incorporate, you know, my shoulder shimmy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We can build on that. That was right. some good moves earlier. We can. Right. That's well, a good let, foundation. Let, let's get the party started. Let's, let's yeah, on. let's hit it, drumline. All right, take it away. Hyped up for the game tonight. Yes, indeed. The uh, Mavs Maniacs, the dancers over there. And we're going to have some great weather in L.A. as it typically is. As we uh, look at the uh, uh, forecast, Crypto.com Arena tonight. Uh, tip off 530 Pacific time, 730 locally here. We're going to be looking at those temperatures in Southern California in the lower 60s. Mostly cloudy skies and temperatures in the upper 50s around 60, around 8 p.m. So uh, go Mavs. It's going to be a nice one out there in Southern California. No issues weather-wise there for them.